Oh, hello. Welcome. Good morning. All right, if you're gonna be doing that, you can't. You almost just ruin things forever. I realize I do a very poor job of introducing myself at the start of videos. So, hey, hi, hello, my name is Sarah. We're also joined by Willow, who you just saw, as well as Mindy. Oh, speak of the devil. It's like she knew. She was sitting on my lap earlier while I was drinking my coffee and just like lounging on the couch and I had a blanket on top of me and after like half an hour I had to get up to go to the bathroom. So I just kind of scooped her up in the blanket, placed her back down on the couch and then she remained there for a good like hour or so by herself just chilling. So despite what it may seem they are the actual main characters of this video and also my life. <laughs> but anyway, happy Sunday. I figured today I would just take you along for whatever this day is going to be. I feel like recently when I do vlogs, it happens to fall on Sundays and that's mostly just because my partner Evan tends to work on Sundays sometimes and it's easier to film when he's not here and I'm, you know, doing more things and adventuring by myself around the city and Brooklyn and whatever. I'm currently in this weird mental space where I fully just like want to sit on the couch and do nothing all day because I feel like I haven't had a day like that. Well, that's not true. We've definitely had some lazy weekend days recently, whether it's for like a whole day or just part of a day. But I feel like, and this has nothing, nothing against Evan, but I feel like there is something extra special about lazy days, like fully by yourself, where you're just like watching the things that you want to watch. You have no care in the world about anything or anyone else making the food you want to watch, working on your own time frame, I suppose. So I'm between wanting to have a day like that and doing pretty much absolutely nothing versus also having quite a productive day because there are a lot of things that need to be done. And I did actually make a little to-do list. Uh, I don't fully remember what's on it, but I'll insert it right here. I wrote this on my iPad this morning, just thinking through like, if I were going to do a bunch of things today, what would those things be? And actually this list probably is not all encompassing because I'm realizing right now as I stand next to the mess that is my drawers. Um, there's a lot of other cleaning and organizing type things that I need to do. I also still need to edit a video. I don't think I have baking on that list. All that being said, there's lots of possibilities for how the day will go. The only thing that I know with 100% certainty right now is that I'm about to head out the door and go to Michael's and Trader Joe's. So we'll just start there. I do actually need to check if you know anything about the New York City MTA system and the weekends. It's a hot mess and I'm pretty sure getting into the city right now from Brooklyn is like not the easiest thing in the world but let's see. Okay there's a train I can take in five minutes not gonna make that and then another one in 18 minutes that I definitely I can I should be able to get there in time so I'm gonna pack my stuff up and we're gonna be on our way. I don't know what to wear outside. It was so nice yesterday. We spent a lot of time outside just like walking around Williamsburg and I had on like workout shorts and a sweater and it was perfect. But now it's like overcast and cloudy and windy and in like the 40s. Two totes for Trader Joe's and Michael's. I cannot fill up those too much. I need to keep that in mind because I have a rather long commute. I have to go into Midtown so it can't be we can't be carrying around a lot of things. I think I should use my backpack purse rather than this tiny purse. That way it's kind of out of the way and I can also store more things in here if needed. I'm like 100% certain that I'm going to sweat profusely while wearing this, but I'm also confident that I'm gonna freeze if I don't wear it. And I don't really have anything in between. So wish me luck. Okay, so I'm looking for yarn, and what I want is this brand. But they don't have, first of all, this is in the way. Second of all, they don't have a color that I want. So I found a different brand that's similar, but they don't have the yarn in the right size. I want something like this. I need something a little bit thinner, like this. This is what I'm going for. I'm gonna keep looking. I am 
so relieved to be home. Why is it that every time I want to do solo trips into the city that aren't for work, they're always in Midtown, which for context is like a 40 minute plus commute from my apartment. It's exhausting. Note for future Sarah. I told you, it's like fully chilly outside, but I am sweating. <laughs> also, how cute is my Wawa tumbler? I'm also accidentally very much surveying it, just black monochrome aesthetic. And but all right, ignore whatever mess is happening back here. I am absolutely cleaning the kitchen after this, but let's do a little haul so I can show you what I got. Actually, I'm gonna change first because sweating. We've gone from monochrome aesthetic to Delaware aesthetic. So as you saw, I went to Michael's. I'm trying to get into crocheting and I really want to crochet a blanket. I talked about this in my April plan with me that I wanted to start a crochet project. This video is probably coming out in May, but anyway. So I spent this morning looking up like patterns and I talked about this in my plan with me. I'm very familiar with knitting. I was a big knitter as a child. I have crocheted before, but I haven't done either of those things in a long time. And I've had my eyes out for a like dark green, forest green blanket to go into our living room, which if you've seen before is kind of working towards like a pink green color scheme. When I was thinking about it a few months ago, I was like, oh, I need more excuses to get crafty. I also wanna start decorating the apartment more. I can make things for us. So that's what led me here. So a long story short, the yarn I was looking for was there, but not in the right color. Then I found something similar, but like this yarn's a little bit thicker. So I don't know, I'm just gonna try it out and use the same pattern and whatnot for this blanket with a different size crochet hook and yarn. So I did get five of these. Also, I needed to go today. I did have a gift card, but it was also 30% off. So I just got five things of this yarn, a crochet hook, and some new piping tips, all for like 40 bucks, a little bit plus tax, of course, which means I still have like $6 left to go back and spend, because I don't know, the initial crochet pattern I was gonna follow called for like seven things of yarn, because but because this is a thicker yarn, I was like, I'm gonna just start with five and go from there. And then I've been meaning to get more piping tips anyway, because I do have a handful but the ones that I have don't fit to these little couplings that you can use to like keep the same colored icing all in one piping bag, but be able to switch out the tips really easily. So I, I'm pretty sure these will fit. So that's exciting for when I go to make a cake or cupcakes again soon, maybe for my birthday. I don't know, we'll see. So that's Michael's. And then I went to Trader Joe's and my experience with Trader Joe's is in Manhattan is that they are always packed. They are always wild. It's like a different species of people that go into the Manhattan Trader Joe's. They're just like not paying attention, have no care for where their car or their things are. Not to say that the one in Williamsburg that I typically go to is any better, but I find that it's better. <laughs> and I did probably buy more than I intended and it was challenging to carry all the way home. I also got everything I needed so I don't need to go back out to the store this week. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Eggs because we were out. Carrots and potatoes. I also have celery somewhere because I want to make potato salad and we're gonna make potato salad to go with hot dogs. These are just like regular beef hot dogs for Evan. I already have veggie hot dogs that are in the freezer. I don't know, with things like finally getting warm, with the exception of today, it's like whenever it gets to this period of things start to get warm, it's like you just start to crave the warm weather foods. Every once in a while, we're like walking around Brooklyn and you can smell people barbecuing on the days that have been really nice. So we're just in the mood for like grilling food, but without the grill. I actually like wasn't really even a big fan of hot dogs until I went vegetarian. I just never really craved them when I ate meat. But now I do find myself craving them sometimes and maybe it's, like subconsciously I'm more open to eating them because I mean, to be honest, I don't really know what veggie hot dogs are made out of, but I'm pretty confident they're probably better ingredients than what real hot dogs are made out of. I don't know. Got some shredded cheddar, mayonnaise because we're starting to run low and I'll need this for the potato salad, butter and cream cheese. Again, just we're running low. Scallions because I think there's some other dinner and lunch dishes this week that I wanna make that need scallions. Tikka masala the paneer tikka masala. I do have one of these in the freezer currently because I did go to Trader Joe's, was it last week or the week before as well? And now that I don't go to Trader Joe's as often as I used to, when I had a car, it was a lot easier. So I would drive there every single weekend basically. But now that I don't have a car, it's not as accessible, et cetera, et cetera. So when I do go to Trader Joe's, I tend to stock up on things and we do that trip like maybe once a month. I need Evan to come with me so he can help carry the things, but the Michaels in Midtown is right next to the Trader Joe's, so I wasn't not gonna go and get things. So, got an extra tikka masala. Also got the Korean beefless bulgogi. I'm pretty sure I've had this before. I think I have, so 
I think we want to make some like bulgogi bowls. I did forget to get Evan his own beef, so I hope he's content with that. <laughs> These are the most delicious chips. The most delicious. Celery I was referring to and a hot dog buns. Granola bars. These are the chewy chocolate and peanut butter protein bars. And then strawberries. I'm so excited to have these. I was not intending to get strawberries. I actually got a pineapple to be my fruit for this week and also because Evan wanted pineapple for his pizza tonight. But strawberries were on sale. So these will probably just be a snack and or ideally I would still like to bake something today. I don't know realistically if I have time for that. Last but not least, bag number three. Mozzarella for pizzas later. The best dip to go with the best chips. Oh, I've been really liking these recently. Sorry, it's tiny. It's probably not focusing, but it's the overnight oats. This is the strawberry one. So we're on a strawberry theme this week. I haven't tried it yet. And then the peanut butter one is also really good. I've tried their vanilla one. It wasn't bad, but like, um, I don't have any intention of buying it again. Peanut butter one is good. So I hope the strawberry one is also good. An avocado for avocado toast, obviously. Garlic powder because we're almost out. And I think, I think that's it. I can't believe I carried all that home. <laughs> Plus a big bag of yarn. Not to mention the arms workout I did during spin class yesterday. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be feeling it later. So everything is unpacked and put away. I'm gonna snack a little bit. I did just eat the bottom of a pint of ice cream so I could fit everything in the freezer because it's getting a little packed in there. No shame. I'm also gonna have some leftover spicy feta dip from a Mediterranean place I got dinner from on Thursday night. Maybe I'll have some of the chips and buffalo dip. Maybe I'll bust out some other leftovers. I don't know. We're gonna call it girl lunch. I do want to start cleaning. I'm also about to start a load of laundry and I've said this a million times, but our washer and dryer is intense. She gets very loud. She has what I would call a bad attitude and gets very angry while she's cleaning our clothes. Um, but I respect her because she cleans our clothes inside of our apartment and I don't have to leave my apartment to do that, which I'm very grateful for. All that being said, I have a lot of cleaning to do. So I'll probably just do a little montage since you don't want to listen to the washer just chugging along in the background. So let's uh, have a few snacks and be productive. It's 3.45 now. I don't know what time I got home, probably around one. So I've been cleaning for many hours. My body is sore from cleaning the shower specifically. There is no easy way to clean your shower without destroying your body, but maybe that's just me. So considering how much I wasn't sure how productive I wanted to be, but that a sentence. Earlier when I said I wanted to be both lazy and productive, clearly it has turned into more of a productive day. So what I want to do is check in with my to-do list and see what all I have left, which might determine what I do next. All right, so I have cleaned the kitchen, I've cleaned the bathroom, I've gotten groceries, I've started laundry, though I'm hoping there will be enough time that I can do a second load. Next thing I have to definitely do is make pizza dough, so I will show you all what kind of dough that I'm making. Ordering some things off of Amazon and getting the Phillies tickets should be rather easy, so then after I finish all of that, I really just want to mess around. I have all of my yarn back here. I really want to start crocheting. I do also need to edit a little bit, but I might be able to do that tomorrow morning and I just heard the delightful sounds of a cat puking in a different room so I gotta go handle that real quick. One, sorry if you hear the dryer running behind me. I'm ready to make pizza dough. Evan suggested we do white pizza tonight since we haven't done that in a while. We make pizza almost every single Sunday except for our last Sunday when we made calzones and they were delicious but basically the same thing. So we're gonna do a white pizza tonight and more just like a regular crust as opposed to a thick or deep dish crust. I am a King Arthur crispy cheesy pan pizza girl till the day that I die. But we do also love a regular crust. So just a minute ago, I fed my sourdough starter, which required me of course to discard some things. I added that to my larger jar of discard that's actually looking quite gross. So I'm gonna transfer this, whatever, if there's anything left, I'm gonna transfer it to a clean jar. But we have all of this 
extra really <laughs> sour smelling um, starter that I'm gonna use. This is also a King Arthur recipe. It's just their sourdough discard pizza dough recipe. I pretty much adapt it to whatever, however much sourdough starter I have because I forget what exactly, what measurement it calls for but I'll measure out whatever this is, then use this as a percentage to like cut down all the other ingredients. So the flour, the water, the salt and all that, if that makes sense. And then I also will add a couple of tablespoons of, of olive oil because personally, I just believe that olive oil belongs in a pizza dough recipe. Some people may not agree, but I think most people agree. So I always put olive oil and maybe a little extra salt. probably can't see that but dough is in the container it normally takes between like two three four sometimes more hours to rise I'll probably just let it sit out on the counter for a little bit Evan doesn't get home from work until later tonight so we won't be eating this probably until about like nine or so at least that's as long as I'm willing to wait and then I will make the pizza and <laughs> he can eat up the leftovers whenever he gets home but all that to say I'll probably put it in the fridge eventually to slow down the fermentation and it's also just easier to work with when it's cold so that's the pizza plan lunch time yes it is 4 30 and I'm just sitting down and having lunch and recording my last clip it you know, came to the front of my brain, the realization that I am in fact, will probably not be eating dinner until 9 p.m. And I have, I don't even think I said this, I've been awake since 5.30. I had breakfast very early. And then, you know, I did some snacking after I got home. Again, sorry, the dryer is still running. So, you know, a 4.30 lunch doesn't seem all that bad. I don't know if this looks at all appetizing, but I'm looking forward to it. It's just a Boca chicken patty, so a vegetarian chicken patty. I don't remember if it's a spicy one or not. I really like the buffalo ones. I think it's just a regular one, but I just stuck it in the air fryer, put some provolone on it, pickles, ranch, sesame seed bun, delicious. So while I take a little break, from all of the things i'm gonna sit here and i have my ipad so put in my amazon order buy the phillies tickets and i think that's it i think after that i might start crocheting the moment i've been waiting for all day oh hello i just got so fully absorbed in this crochet project and i mean <laughs> We were kind of just, oh, I just lost the hook. I'm fully in it right now. I'm debating whether I wanna start over or not. And that might sound ridiculous, but I mean, let's just remember the fact that I have not, I don't have much experience with crocheting and this is my first time crocheting in six years, seven years, eight years, I don't know. So the fact that I'm even like going for a blanket as my first project is probably a little extreme. My initial chain and stuff like isn't, the best and I also because this yarn is so fluffy and so thick it's actually making it really hard to see like where the loops are that I need and all the different things I'm trying to do a waffle stitch which also maybe could have been a little bit of a reach for me at this point I think I may have because my like second chain seems to be longer than the first so I don't know if I like skip some or it's just looser my first chain was tighter but I do feel like I have a better concept of it now so honestly if I either just unravel this or cut it and you know cut the losses literally I think it'd be fine knowing that it's gonna ultimately end in hopefully a better blanket result it is fun it is very mindless I am watching just some shitty reality tv while I sit here and do this also also joined by a small child a small little baby. I do for sure my fingies are burning <laughs> so I might take a small break just to go like chug some water 
check on my other cat, turn over the laundry. So I'm gonna go do that and then decide what to do about this, but I will probably show you all more updates on this maybe later tonight, if not maybe my May plan with me or another future video to show you more of the end product, depending on how long this takes. I'm not really sure, but it's about seven o'clock now, so I still got some time until I have to start prepping pizza, but I don't know. So far, this has felt like, today has felt like a really productive day, so it's honestly even all the more rewarding to be able to sit down right now and just watch stupid TV and do something fun and creative but relaxing. And I don't know, it's been a really good Sunday.